Hi, it's Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery, and today we're going to talk about strike through line items whenever you have paid when incurred. So let me give you an example of this. Just going to pull up an estimate here, and you can see the line item is kind of grayed out, and there's a strike through here. And when you look at the RCV value at the end of the estimate on the summary page, it would not include this amount. Let's take a look at how you would do this and why you would want to do this in today's tech tip. To start, you have to be in an estimate and you have to have created this estimate in the carrier profile, not the contractor profile. So if I go over to claim info at the top of my screen and click there, I have insured info coverage loss. Okay, so coverage loss is what's going to be missing if you're using the contractor profile instead of the carrier. I have another video here on YouTube about why you should be using the carrier profile and this is one of those reasons. So I always write in the carrier profile. In order to get that strike through PWI or code upgrade on our report, we do have to edit the coverage options. So we're going to go next to dwelling and go to add options. Here you have two different options. We've got the sublimit and we've got the additional coverage. We want to use additional coverage here. So I'm going to drop down the list and I already have code upgrade in here. If you do not, go ahead and click on smart list and then add. And that will allow you to go ahead and just type in here code upgrade and the type will be code upgrade here. Since I already have it, I'm just going to choose it on the list. And that is now added as an additional coverage. I'm going to left click OK to save that. Then I'm going to go over to estimate items and I'm going to add that coverage type to the line item. So the adjuster says, sure, I'll pay for ice and water shield, but after it's installed. Fine, I want that in writing because I may get another adjuster on the back end or something else may happen. So I want to put it on my estimate as PWI, paid when incurred, so it'll be paid when the job is finished, and I'm fine with that, but at least I have it in writing. So I'm going to click on the ice and water shield line item. I'm going to go to the coverage type here, drop down the list, and choose code upgrade. When you do that, you've got this little checkbox here that says paid when incurred. And when you make sure that that's checked in order to get the strike through of the line item, and then left click OK, or else this doesn't do anything. If you go print right now, it's not going to show up. You must left click OK to save those changes. Once I do that, the line item becomes this weird brown color, which is very odd choice of color. But we're going to go up to print here and see what that did. So I'm going to go to print. I'm just going to take a look at this. This is a dummy estimate I'm working on. And you can see, there we have it. Strike through, paid when incurred, ice and water shield. Now, there will be this line beneath it. It's a note. It says, this line item did not previously exist or expands the scope of repairs, but is required by current building codes. The code upgrade cost is payable when incurred subject to limits. That note there, guys, cannot be removed to my knowledge. And if you know any better and know how to remove it, please comment below so that we can get rid of this note. There's some instances when I do not want this note here and there's no way to delete it. Yeah, I could try to highlight and delete, but when I close this, it's still there. It's, it's still sticking there if I go to print you'll see that it comes back. It's just, it's stuck. So as long as you don't mind that line item note being added, it doesn't bother me because it's true this will be paid when incurred. No problems there. I just roll with that note and uh, at the end of the day, I need to get the estimate submitted. So that's how you get that strike through with paid with incurred on your estimate. Hope that was helpful to most of you. If you like this topic, please like this video. Also subscribe to get our weekly updates. My name is Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery and if you'd like to know more about what we do, visit xm8mastery.com and I will see you next week.